Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10C and we're looking at radio for communications. So first of all, let's look at what we're going to be talking to. For the ease of the tutorial, we're going to be talking to Copyleted Tower. By clicking on that, we can see that it operates between at 40.8 megahertz. That is the VHF AM modulation, VHF band 133, VHF band uh, AM modulation 262, UHF band AM modulation and that guy down there I don't know the A10 control should be able to talk to all three of those uh, these different frequencies and to test out the FM modulation we've got a tank down here and it is talking on frequency uh, 31 megahertz FM modulation and it's just shouting that WAV file on repeat okay so the next thing I'd like to show you is that at the moment the presets don't seem to be working so these it has three separate radios in the ATNC a VHF AM a um, UHF AM and a VHF FM however that said they all kind of intermingle with each other and cross each other's borders in terms of band and modulation so it gets a little bit more complicated than that but we're just going to keep it simple for this tutorial now all of those three radios can handle either using presets uh, preset frequencies you preset them here in the mission editor or manual set frequencies and we'll look at both ways but regarding presets you usually have a little tab here called presets you'd click on that tab and you'll be able to set the preset frequencies in this particular build of DCS that I'm using on open beta it's not there it's bugged uh, it's been removed but it will come back at some point and when it does you'll have a tab here called presets you'll click on presets and you'll be able to change the presets for all of the radios so that's the best I can show with that at the moment so let's go and use the manual uh, method of tuning in so we're going to save that and load in okay we're in the bird now and she's hot started and ready to go so let's look at the radio gear down here we have the VHF in the AM modulation uh, this radio handles between well I haven't actually checked the uh, exactly the limits but usually it's between 118 and 143 for VHF AM this is the UHF set here. U UHF usually handles between 225 and 399. I've got no real way of testing the limits uh, because uh, the presets aren't working at the moment. Um, and this is the VHF FM set and that usually handles between 30 and oh, 87 megahertz I believe and they're all in megahertz. So first we're going to use the VHF AM set to talk to the tower. The tower's relevant frequency there is 133 AM. So let's go and have a look at the controls. Uh, I'm going to have to move my throttle and hold my brake because it's in the way. So we've got the volume control. You can use mouse wheel or, you know, you can't use mouse wheel. Yes, you can. Or you can use click and drag. You've got the squelch on or off. And that's not working at the moment for some reason. We'll find out why in a minute. Uh, then we've got the master control, FM modulation, AM modulation, manual, select frequency or preset. So the modulations, uh, what they are, the manual means that we can tune in manually. The pre presets means that uh, we're going to use a preset frequency. So we're going to use manual for this. Next is the preset wheel. So there would be various presets that we would set in the mission editor if it was working and we could choose them from here. Next is um, the uh, frequency mode dial. We can either have off or transmit receive. Transmit receive is the basic thing for communication. We can transmit when pressing the mic button and we can receive when not pressing the mic button. DF direction finding, that's for navigation, so we're gonna ignore that for today. Then to actually uh, tune in, we've got these knobs here. So we're gonna left click and right click here. Right click and left click. So right click to one three and left click here and right click and I'm going to right click to three so one three three zero 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 and we could change these if we wanted to okay so that is going to tune in that we have now tuned in our VHF AM radio set I don't know why the squelch isn't working the, the squelch button would usually um, uh, basically if I turned it off it would usually make that radio hissing crackly sound but never mind we'll ignore that for now okay so next we're going to show how to actually use the radio to, so we're going to press escape just controls. I'm going to type in search mic. We've got four mic switches for using four radios. Now the this one here is superfluous because we don't have a fourth radio but aft is the uh, what is it? It's the VHF FM radio. Down is the um, UHF AM radio and forward is the VHF AM radio and just you hear the natural bindings and I've bound them also to Q, W and E. 
So to use the VHF AM radio that we've just tuned in, I'm going to press E. And we've got VHF AM here, and I'm going to talk to the runway. Couple Eddie, in field, one, one. Request taxi to runway. And we're going to wait for him to respond. I don't know if you heard that, but it was there, he was just very quiet. I think I accidentally turned down the uh, volume, so I can turn that back up. Yeah, I accidentally turned that down. Right, so that's that. And now just to show that it wouldn't work if I wasn't tuned in, so I'm just going to scramble that frequency now, just to some random frequency. There you go. Uh, I'm going to make the call again, E and abort takeoff. Couple Eddie, in field, one, one, abort takeoff. In theory, I shouldn't get any response now. Okay, that'll do. Next, we're going to move on to the UHF radio. Now, we don't have to turn off the radios um, to, to use another radio, but just out of a good principle, I'm going to turn this one off because we're not using it. So off we go. Right, next, this is the UHF handles between 225 and 399, I believe, megahertz. So let's start going through it. We've got the buttons here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to change the different digits. So we can change digit, 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 and this digits. We've got the channel selector here. Again, there would be presets available in the mission editor, just not working at the moment, but we would have the presets there. We've got um, test display there, because if you wanted to test the display. Master mode off, main, both, and ADF. So off is off. Main is um, just uh, the main use of that radio. Both is to be able to use this radio frequency and to monitor a second radio frequency known as guard um, which is 243 in this aircraft that's an emergency channel so we'll be able to talk on the channel selected here and monitor guard adf automatic direction finding that's to do with navigation so we're not interested so what we're going to do is go back to main which is just the basic use of this frequency uh we've got the anti-squelch uh, sorry the anti-squelch here so if we turn that off then it would have the, the you know the squelching sound if we have it on, then it gets rid of that squelching sound. Uh, we've got the volume. Try not to turn this one down. We've got the tone. It's going to be a test, I think. Yep, so we can test that with the right click. We've got um, our um, our mode, Igdal, here. So we can be on manual. This allows us to type the frequency manually. Preset. This allows us to use the presets and guard will just automatically put us through to 243 the guard so guard is an emergency channel in case you get jumped by mig or something or your engines blown up you quickly just put it on guard and there will be someone monitoring guard that's how it works okay uh back to manual so we're going to tune into this tower if you remember it's 262 uhf alpha mic so we're going to change that one 262 there we go, make sure it's main, make sure it's manual, and we're good to go. We're going to press the button that corresponds to our UHF radio, which is W for me. And let's abort takeoff. Couple Eddie, in field, one, one, abort takeoff. And it's not working great, so let's go and have a look. What have I done wrong? Ah, whoopsie, I've accidentally left a 2.5 on the end there, my bad. Let's turn that off. Let's try that again. Uh, we're going to, what was I going to do? Abort takeoff. Couple Eddie, in field, one, one, abort takeoff. Beautiful. So that was in the UHF. That works okay. Next, we're going to look at our VHF FM radio. It's this chap here. Now, just to remember, we've got an Abrams tank sitting out here somewhere. If you can, there he is. He's transmitting on 31 uh, FM modulation VHF, and that's who we're going to listen to. Um, VHF A. Uh, sorry. Yeah, VHF FM is mainly used for talking to ground units and locating ground units, and for interflight comms, not for ATC and navigation and stuff like that, uh, per se. Right, so we're going to go through it. We've got our volume control as normal. We've got our squelch, anti-squelch. Uh, we've got our master modes, FM modulation, AM modulation, manual frequency selector, preset uh, frequency selectors. Same as normal. Here, if we want to change the presets that we would do in the mission editor. Here, if we wanted to change our actual frequency manually. And our uh, frequency mode, we've got off. Transmit receive or DF direction finding. Direction finding is navigation. Transmit receive is basic radio usage. Off is off. So let me just check. We've got it in manual. We've got it in transmit receive. What we're going to do now is tune into 
3-1 and we should be able to pick up that tank. Ah, there he is. I'm having to turn him up. You can hear him. So that's that WAV file that I've got on repeat. Uh, so that's it. Um, I could, let me turn him off there. So if I wanted to, I could uh, do navigation to that. Anyway, we'll cover our ADF navigation in another tutorial. So that's shown using all three radios in the different bands and the different modulations. Note, it is a bit buggy. A lot of these planes that have three radios in, it can be a bit buggy. I, I don't know if you noticed, I had to restart halfway through that re tutorial to get the FM radio to start working again. I am in open beta build, so it's expected to be a bit buggy. If you're in the normal stable build, it'll probably be okay. Okay, that's all I've got to say on that. I hope that helps and see you later.